It's me, Margaret, and yes, I keep repeating this over and over again. I'm a Mississippi native transplanted to Atlanta, Georgia, where I sheepishly share things I love with you. And as you saw in that little intro, we have a knit crate box. Now, I kept the last one, so I'm going to give away this one. So let's look at the knit crate goodness inside here, and we will see what we have to do in order to get you entered. Now, I told you before that I left it up to them as to what they wanted to send us. I said I couldn't imagine not being totally thrilled with whatever Nick Crate put in the mail to us. So let's get into this goodness. I always love to open it with you so we can be surprised together. Ta-da! This is what you see. Okay, this is the, whoops, the May knit crate let's see it is a crochet crate now what would make this different from a knit crate and basically you can make what you want to with the yarn that comes with this of course but it's the patterns that are included the patterns and the yarn are chosen purposefully so that whatever you know if you choose to make one of these projects you know you've got a good choice here that they professionally chose for you so what our patterns are are from Michelle Greenberg and there is this gorgeous triangle shawl and um, the boho turban ear warmer which is a little twist turban thing that that you have here so that's nice the yarn the rainforest is what this is patterned after what this is uh, themed the colorway is called rivers edge Ooh, let me show it to you because you're just gonna love it <laughs> It's by Sun Soaked Yarn. Isn't that beautiful? And the colors look pretty true. I put this white background, it's actually coming up kind of gray back there, but I put that up there purposely so that I could try to get some good color on this. There are two skeins of this gorgeous yarn. All right, let's see. Sun Soaked Yarns by Jody. River's Edge. It's 100% superwash merino wool. It's worsted weight. And that's what these patterns are as well. Now, obviously, these are paid for patterns. And you'll get on another card, it's actually on the back of this card, you get the code that you enter in order to get these patterns for free. Now, with every Knit Crate product, you always get your yarn, you always get two patterns, and you always get a goodie, an extra, they call it. And this is a little decal. And it says, if I can't bring my yarn, I'm not coming. <laughs> and it's a heart that looks like it's made of yarn, which is really cute. This is from a company called purplegoddessdesign.com, which is pretty darn cute. And that's the extra. You know, in the past, we've gotten things like the bath bomb and bag nets and other cute little things like that. So absolutely adorable. Now, and this is the part that I get really excited about, and that's deciding the value is the value worth what you're paying for it. All right, so I think the crochet crate is around $44. I'm going to put the actual price up here. And the question is, do you get that value in the box? And they put it down here, what the total retail value is. Because you always come out better than what you pay for on a monthly basis. So the yarn itself is $21.50 per skein. The, or hank, or whatever the proper term is here. The patterns themselves, you get two of them, and they are a retail value of $8. And then your little extra is $3. So you get a total retail value of $54. Now, another one of my favorite things about Knit Crate is the butterfly boxes. This is a charity event that Knit Crate encourages. And this month, they're encouraging you to make some handmade washcloths and send, and they are given to refugees that have come into this country. So um, 
It says, this month, welcome a refugee with handmade washcloths. Remember, these people are coming with nothing, just whatever they could actually carry. So they had to leave their world behind. So being a charity knitter and crocheter, things like this are close to my heart. I had a wonderful chat with two Knit Crate people yesterday um, on Skype. And one was Nye, who is the person who's been in email contact with me the whole time. So it was really nice to see her in, in you know, well, I was about the same person, face to face, because we were Skyping. And the other was Roberto, who owns Knit Crate. There's some sharp people running this company. Roberto, I asked him how he got into this, and actually, he was one of the founders of BoxyCharm. And after he sold his share in that, he was bored. And so he was looking for something else. And knowing subs subscription services as well as he did, he ended up uh, investigating and purchasing Knit Crate. They have some more new, really good things in store. And, and I'm, I'm really excited about continuing on as ambassador. He asked me, did I think $44 was an accurate price, was a good price, fair price. And for what you're getting, Obviously, when I tell you the value and stuff like that, yes, if you're willing to put out this kind of money. But not everybody has $44 a month to put it out there. So he pointed out two things that they have that are a little bit less expensive. So you could still have the excitement of getting your surprise and not have to fork out $44. Let's take a quick peek at them. There's Knitology Sock Yarn Club for $19.95 a month, which is not to be confused with Knit Crate Socks Crate for $10 more. You see, um, Knitology is Knit Crate's own brand, so naturally that could be a better price. So if you like that idea but you don't want sock yarn, look at the Knitology Yarn Club for $33.95. And you scrap yarn blanket people may want a Knitology Mini Crate for $22.45. How fun would that be? So, he's going to put those in the mail to us in upcoming months, so we can check those out firsthand and see what we think about that, which I thought was really thoughtful. Now, I'm going to put this all back in, just like I found it, so the winner can have it. Now, I told you uh, a couple weeks ago that I had received some of these crochet kits that I thought were really, really cool. I filmed my opening these a while back. I got four of them in two colors. Take a minute and let me walk you through and see what's in this. We got a message the other day, we as in you and me. It was from a company that does business on Amazon as Old Shark. They're their own company, but you can order everything they have through Amazon. I know you know all about this. Well, anyway, they wanted to know if we would look at this particular product, review it, and then I'll host a giveaway. So I said, absolutely, send it on. Let's see what you got. So here's what they sent, and they have two pinks and two blues, all wrapped in cellophane. And I opened it up, and it's nice little canvas material. It seems rather sturdy, well stitched along the sides, and look at the goodness within. <laughs> My goodness gracious. All right, so let's start, let's start with the crochet hooks. Um, I'll pick this brown one. Okay, so it has one of those hard plastic rubberized, I don't know what you would call this, um, silicone maybe. It's not, it's not squishy. They remind me a lot of the Clover Amour hooks that are priced um, 10 sizes for $31 or Hobby Lobby's Yarnology Ergonomic Hook Set, which is five sizes for $25. So what does this cost? $19, $20? For an entire set, including the case and all these goodies, hmm, I think we're off to a good start. It is not an inline hook. So if you like the boy hooks, you're going to like this. Inline is when the head and the, the staff are completely lined up. And if you want to know more about the different types of crochet hooks, I have a video where I told you all about those, and I'll link that below. It, they do have a place for your thumb right here if that's how you hold it and the size is clearly marked right here note that there is not a letter like in the United States which suits me fine because I'm trying hard to memorize by millimeters on here since we have learned 
that letter sizing is not consistent in the industry. So in total, you get 11 hooks. This is a two millimeter and this is an eight millimeter. Let's see, two, two and a, 2.5, three, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 5, 6, 7, 8. So no half sizes in the big ones. So the next thing we have, and this little flap is neat because that keeps everything in place. I like that. So now we have a little package here. What's in this pocket? Let's see. So these are stitch holders, more commonly used in knitting. I imagine there could be a use for them in crochet. And then you get what they have labeled as knitting needles. <laughs> All right, here you have some very large size tapestry needles in the green. And then you have a more traditional size in the pink. So you have your bulky yarns and whatever else. And these are cable needles, again, more commonly used in knitting. Crochet cables are done differently, so you generally don't have a use for these. But remember how I think. Be creative in your usage. This could certainly be something else if you don't knit. You could use these as shawl pins or something. Who knows? I don't know. Hold your work together as you're sewing pieces together. Now also in that pocket was a seam ripper. And this is more commonly used in sewing. But if you've ever used one of those yarns that is very halo-y and you're trying to rip back, this could come in handy, but you'd have to be very careful. Do you see there's a little blade between that red knot and the long portion here? And you could actually cut your work, so you have to be very careful. I've never seen anybody actually need a seam ripper in knitting and crochet, but that's not to say it, there's not a need for it. I don't know. Now we have this middle section, and it seems to be loaded with goodies. Let's check this out. Keeps on coming. This is the name of the company, Old Shark, called a needle gauge. And you can also use it for crocheting. You would just stick your, your hook in, and it would tell you what size your hook is. And it appears that we have U.S. measurements on this side, so you have the inches and whatnot. And then on this side is your metric system for measurement. And then also for measuring, you have this measuring tape. Now she specifically told me about this measuring tape. She says this is not U.S. measurement, this is for Chinese measurement. That's what she said. And I am not familiar with Chinese measurement. I just assume they use the metric system, which is printed on the back, by the way. But I don't know. I'm not familiar with this. But obviously, let's put it against this. This is the U.S. measurement. And you can see it doesn't measure an inch. So this side would not be good, you know, of use to us in the United States. Although, I do use the metric system from time to time, depending on the pattern. So, there you go. You press the little button, and it goes back in. And it actually seems to be pretty good quality. It works very well. Alright, what do we have here? And here we have some regular pins, which are helpful when sewing pieces together. Then we have some snips. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Okay, just their snips, not scissors, so they don't open up any more than that. They just snip what you need. Close them up and put the top back on. And then what do we have in this little bag of goodness? Looks like stitch markers. I think I see a stitch counter. Actually, we have two stitch counters, different sizes, one small, one large. This is what you put on the end of a knitting needle. I don't know why they gave us just one. Well, we've got a small one over here. Okay. Then we have several of these safety pin stitch markers and the swirly kind. Now the big question is, is what kind of, oh, these are actually good. 
One time I bought a whole bunch of these from eBay and they were horrible. Every time I would go, whoops, every time I would close them like this, they would break. But these seem to be very good. They're actually a soft, supple plastic. So they do, they do really well. That's good to know. And then, of course, you know how you use these. You slide them through, you know, a stitch and just, it holds on like that. Which I like very much, by the way. All in all, that's a lot of interesting extras. You know, I think I like this case more than anything included in the whole thing. The case is very well made with the magnetic closure on here. I love the flap that lets you hold everything in place. And I think that is really, really neat. But all in all, with everything that's included in here, even if you can't use the measuring tape, this is a pretty good price, and it's a nice gift to give for somebody, especially a beginner crocheter. You would have everything that you would need in here and more. I like this old shark. I really do. I think this is a super product. So I'm going to put a link in the description box below directly to this product at their store, which is through Amazon, so that makes it easy for everybody, no matter where you are. But um, yeah, so I like it. Last week, we were introduced to an Etsy store called The Steady Hand, owned by April Maisie. And April had sent us some stuff for a giveaway, and I will be giving away this set, which was this really cute little bag. And I, did, I forgot to mention last time, it hangs on your hand, so you can literally knit or crochet while standing up, because it can hang on your arm. That's pretty cool, huh? And then, of course, the needle holder, which, was a, which comes in this matching set right here. So, oh, also remember that the Steady Hand is giving all Sheepishly Sharing viewers 20% off. You just enter the code SHEEPISHLY at checkout. Add to this adorable set three crochet kits plus the crochet crate from the Knit Crate Company, and we have some terrific prizes to, for this upcoming giveaway. So, how does it work? Well, we're not going to have a knit along, and we're not going to have a crochet along. We're going to have a vlog along. <laughs> So you take a one to two minute video clip of yourself. You could be showing us your yarn stash or your craft room or maybe a special technique or anything craft related. And I'm going to put it on my channel. That will also enter you in the giveaway. Now it's easy because I'm asking you to simply post it on social media with the hashtag sheepishly sharing. Everybody knows how to post on social media so I won't be getting 500 questions asking for a tutorial on how to get a clip to me as I did last time. That was kind of dumb on my part. But anyway, no email please because Video files and email sizes, mm, it varies so much, it's kind of difficult. So just post it on social media with the hashtag sheepishly sharing. If you want to use your YouTube account, which you probably have if you're subscribed to me, then you can do that, but you will need to send me a private message just so I can uh, find it because hashtags are a little bit harder to search on YouTube. But it is a great method to do it, very easy, and I'll be happy to accept them that way as well. So here's your checklist. First of all, you need to have your parents' permission or be of legal age. It needs to be G-rated, so be careful of any kind of posters or whatever you may have in the background, too. Uh, two minutes max. Please don't go over that. Introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Don't forget that part. Share your stuff, of course, and then post it to Instagram, Twitter, uh, our Facebook group, or our Ravelry group. And absolutely no emails, please. And please don't ask me to friend you on Facebook because I keep that for family and friends in order to keep my feed short enough to go through on a daily basis so I can keep up with what's going on with, you know, uh, people in my life. So if when I started to add all my yarn friends and everything, my feed got so heavy and so long that I never could figure out what was going on with the people that I'm supposed to be keeping up with on a regular basis. So um, you can, if you're on Facebook, put it in the Facebook group. So you're not taking notes? Don't worry. I'll put a link in the description box below so you can refer to it at your leisure. So how long will I run this giveaway? 
I don't know. It depends on participation. If it was as well received as the last time I did something similar to this, then we'll probably be looking at a month or so, but there's no guarantee. But I will tell you that the first thing I'm going to give away will be the crochet crate. And the giveaways will be spread out over time. Looks like it would be to your advantage to go ahead and get those entries in quickly. So don't be shy. Come on over for a visit on my channel. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you on the other side of that camera. Good luck. Bye.